Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in again. I am the King of Booty Fab. And uh, today, me and the boy here. Hello. Yep, this one. We are going to start tearing into this donor, stripping it of all the parts, getting it ready to go into the go-kart. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a pretty big day. See what we can't get off of this today, but take advantage of the fact that it's not raining. Um, if you haven't yet, do us a favor. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it around, drop me a comment. I'll leave this one so everybody can comment on it. Um, yeah, hang out for a little while, have a little bit of fun, and I'll uh, explain some of these parts and how we're going to use them as we take them off. But the idea here today is just to kind of get a jump start on all the bits and pieces we need so that we can start building the frame for this cart. So, uh, yeah. Want to get at it? Yeah? Okay, let's get at it. So, pulled the seat off. For the record, this is not how you hook up a, ba a battery cable. Yeah, you don't, don't just cram it in the threaded hole. We're going to upgrade that. It is important to select the right size tool for the fastener you're taking off. He's, uh, he's picking out the wrenches to pull those bolts and, well, I'm just going to start taking these fasteners off. This one here, now push that one towards the motor. Now take this top one off, put it there, now push it towards the motor. Take Do it again. There you go. Now do that until they come apart. Right? Yeah. No videos of me struggling, but oh, that's the side of the master link. And uh, basically what that is, is that's the part of the chain that allows us to take it apart. And that way we can actually get it off of here. So Terrence is backing off the axle adjusters here need to back off the axle adjusters so that we've got enough slack in the chain so we can take that off. So once we got the adjusters backed off, loosen up that bolt on both sides and that bolt on that both sides. Now this bolt is where it pivots on and you can see here there's a slot here. So when they're all loose, when you tighten this nut this pulls the axle and rotates it back, which tensions the chain. Since these are connected, you have to tension them the same. And then you tighten all four of those bolts, and that'll hold the axle in place to the swing arm. So we're going to need something like that on the go-kart. Whether or not we use this assembly off the swing arm or we build something new, either way, we're going to need something like that. And... Uh, We'll deal with that when we get there. Right now, you know, now, chain's got some slop in it. We can take the chain off. We'll pull the master link out and uh, get on pulling the rest of this. Now the master link just has this clip. Just pushes on. And once you pull it off, let's see if we can get this to focus. This right here, see how this one's pulling out? So that, we take a screwdriver now, we can pop that off, drop that piece on the ground obviously, just like that, the chain's apart. Now on this bike, rear brake's hydraulic, instead of undoing everything right now, we're just going to leave the hydraulic system intact, take that whole piece off with the axle, and uh, the boy's going to take off that swing arm nut and then we can just pull the bolt out for the swing arm and put that on the ground we can move to the front okay give it a tap a little hard 
moving? Yeah, it moves. Okay, keep yeah. tapping. Tap it as far as we'll go. No, with the face of it. There you go. Now go to the other side and pull it out. It's always going to get worse before it gets better. Now I've definitely seen some things, but uh, this is new. Not sure what bolt pattern it's supposed to be. There should be four nuts and not three nuts and an Allen head bolt. It looks centered, but uh, I'm definitely going to have to investigate when we take this off. So we're probably going to end up doing a how to rebuild your hub portion of a video soon. Now we're just undoing the rest of the electronics. Everything that was bolted to the frame. Need the ignition coil there, that's an important part. But, until we sort out what wiring goes where, we're just gonna save everything, right? Yeah. Yeah. Rewire it once it goes into the car? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, save everything. You, may, you never know when you're gonna need it. True. But, uh, we're gonna finish pulling everything off of here. And get a couple of motor mounts out. It looks like there's three or four motor mount bolts. And then this assembly can just slide right out the side. So on the front end, any of the steering and suspension on this, or most vehicles actually, is going to have castle nuts. They're called castle nuts because they look like the tops of turrets on castles. And through there, they have cotter pins, which are these little metal pins. And this is what stops it from spinning. That way it can't back off. So, Terrence is currently working on removing the cotter pins here. And that way we can take the nuts off. Because we're not going to use the control arms. We're not going to use any of this. What we want is the steering knuckles the backing plates, and the hubs and drums. Because we're going to use the brakes, we're going to use all of this, but we are actually going to build a beam axle with these bolt to and make it look like a real hot rod. We got a plan though, it's coming together. Now with all the castle nuts off, these are not a th straight through bolt usually. They're usually tapered, but all it takes is taking a hammer, I'm hitting on the edge of the knuckle, and it shocks it a little bit. And once it shocks it, just like that, they pop loose. You can see that pop up. Steering's pop loose as well, so once we get those ones popped, we'll get everything taken apart and we can pull the hubs off and we're done with the front end. Well, we could have fought with this for a while, but the reality is, is this frame is unusable. So I just cut the bottom off the frame with my safety glasses and gloves on. Sorry, that's a job for dad. Until you're a little bit bigger. A yeah. little bit. <laughs> so, I'm just going to pull this motor out of the bottom and we will officially have our running gear. Please. Just like that, we have a motor. Mm -hmm. 
All right, move it out of the way. There we go. Hercules, Hercules. So one of the first things we're all gonna have to deal with is uh, the bolt pattern is different. The hub pilot, which would be this opening here, is smaller on the new wheels than it was on the old. And the bolt pattern is also smaller. You can see that the bolt holes are too far out. So I'm either going to have to make a new center for this wheel or do some work on those hubs or make an adapter or something, but we can deal with that. I was hoping to throw them on here to see how it looks, but it's not gonna happen today. So for right now, we're gonna throw the quad tire back on this axle and kind of mock it up so we can see what we've got. Well, doesn't look like much. That's a really big step. We've got a motor and trans. Got an axle and half a body. It's almost as far along as my car is. Should be pretty cool though. I think the kids are excited about it. Hey guys, thank you for watching. Our dad is, is the king of beauty fab. fab. And we'll hang out with you guys next time. So, bye! Does my outfit look good in that? It's cool, because uh, I'm going to spend an afternoon with the boy. And uh, start getting this all prepped. The rest of the family's been under the weather a little bit. So, uh, it's supposed to pour rain tomorrow. So I think we're going to sit inside and uh, some chicken noodle soup and... Draw some pictures, and plan, plan some stuff. I'm gonna help have the kids help design this. So, uh, like they said, I'll see you on the next one. If you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel, like the video, drop a comment down below, and uh, ask me any questions you got. You know, I want to, uh, I want to make sure that everybody else can do this too if they so choose. So, thanks for hanging out, everybody, and uh, like they said. We'll see you on the next one.